Cubs. Uh, congratulations to Clemson. You know, uh, Coach Ripman's done a great job with his program. Amazing where he's got him in a couple of years. The atmosphere, came to atmosphere, the ballpark, the fans, the music, the twin innings, everything was first class. And uh, the officiating was great all weekend. Um, just a great regional. Last game obviously went far from the way we wanted it to go. But uh, it was a, a great experience for our student athletes. And we, we faced great competition. I, I was really impressed with Clemson and uh, their athletes or whatever they played. So tip your hat to them. Um, we just, we never got in, a, we never got in a rhythm. Uh, Millie Johnson, uh, Millie Thompson had a lot to do with that. Change up was devastating. And it, it got us, it got in our heads right off the bat. We, we knew it was coming and we still couldn't adjust. And, uh, you know, uh, sometimes things spiral on athletes. And that's, I feel like it really spiraled on us today. Um, just wish we could have competed better and give them a, a more challenging game in that last game. Coach, despite the uh, the loss, I'm, I'm sure you're very proud of your girls for being able to battle back the way they did after losing a tough four three opener to Auburn to, to fight back and win two games yesterday. Yeah, extremely uh, proud of my girls. Uh, really worked hard. You look at where we started in September and where we got to in February. We started the season sixteen and eight, and we finished the year uh, the regular season on a twenty two and one run. To end the year, we made progress throughout the season. And then, you know, this this the conference tournament, they were great. Uh, won it without losing. And to come back yesterday and win two games, put us in a really good spot. And then I think today, just like we, we didn't have a, a normal week of preparation, no excuses uh, at all. But it, where I feel like as a coach, I maybe fell short with my ball club. I didn't have prepared for Millie Thompson. We knew who Kegel was. We were ready for Kegel. Um, and we, but we obviously weren't ready for Millie Thompson and tip your hat to her. Um, but I'm super proud of my kids. I just, um, you know, fifth year senior, Rain O'Neill, sixth year, and then fifth year senior, Melissa uh, Mayu. Those are great players. Ari Quinones played her last game here today with us. And, uh, you know, those are all great student athletes that you just, you hate that anytime uh, an athlete's season and career comes to an end in your dugout. I know you're not one to make excuses, but playing 18 innings yesterday in this grueling heat, it's got to take a toll and have some fatigue today, I imagine. Yeah, I really don't think that the, the yesterday had anything to do with other emotion. You know, maybe you're, when you're sky high, maybe you fall a little faster, fall a little harder, but you got to tip your hat. Millie Thompson was the problem, not the 18 innings. She she went out through that change up and, and it, it really uh, worked us over, as you saw. and. We just didn't, then our, we didn't keep, if we could, I think we could have went seven innings. I like to think we would have made some adjustments there. I felt like the fifth inning, we were actually seeing the ball better and got calmed down at the plate. But that, we had that big inning that we've had, you know, early in the year, we were, that was our problem. We'd have a big inning and put, and get the game too far out of reach. And that, that reoccurred today. And, you know, I, we just, we just played a bad game on, on an important day. You mentioned the atmosphere today. Um, you, you play at LSU regularly and some other SEC venues. How would you um, compare this atmosphere to, to those that you've played in? It, it was really good. I mean, our atmosphere at Louisiana, second to none. It's a phenomenal game day atmosphere at Lambs and Parker if you've ever been there. If you haven't, you'd enjoy it. But it's very, uh, just the park was very vibrant today. It was, it's a w really laid out well. Uh, they've done a great job in all of their. Uh, the way they built the park the, with the batting cages, the tunnels behind the dugouts, the restrooms, everything is first class. And, and then to see the, the fans just packed full of Arlington, it, it was really good. It, it was as good a game day atmosphere as you can have. Coach, obviously you're not happy with a loss, um, but just how excited are you? Uh, about the potential of the future of this team, especially with the way that they were able to battle throughout the regional? Yeah, I think that, you know, you have to, you know, I don't like the loss today. And, and but I, when I think about my ball club and, and our future, it's about, I think about the same today as I did yesterday. I'm just, I'm elated. I'm, I'm really excited about the next three years with the freshman class and the, the athletes that we have in that class and then the, the future 
because we got another phenomenal class coming in right behind them that are gonna, you know, they're gonna piece together and I think our program's ready to make a really strong run here the next three years. And, uh, you know, I told, I told our coaching staff last week that Clemson this year is where we will be next year. And um, that's, I kind of feel like, you know, that's, that, that's where we can be. We can be that type of ball club next year. We've got the pitching in place. We've got the, the, the offense in place. We just got to uh, polish everything up a lot and mature players, understand the game better. Um, uh, not, uh, a year of hard work is going to make a, uh, a big difference, and, and we're not that far out right now. How much of today was – Y'all had, not only did y'all play long yesterday, but it was such a high and to, to come off that high against a, a pretty polished team, like you said, that was more rested. How, how much of that played into today? Yeah, you know, when we was one to nothing in the third, we had the game 1-0. And I, I knew at some point, like, if we keep the game 1-0, we're going to make a run. Uh, you've watched the kids play. I mean, the one thing about our young kids is, they really fight, and they, they will not quit. They're going to fight in the sixth, seventh inning hard. Uh, and I felt really good about the game right at that point. But then we we had that huge inning in the fourth where we, you know, you all said you go from one to nothing, eight to nothing. At that point, it's tough. I mean, there's just not a lot you can do at that point. The emotion, you could see it was clearly gone. It, you know, they they took the emotion completely out of, out of our dugout. And um, that, that was a turning point in the game. Can you discuss the, it's got to be just kind of disappointment. You plan all year long for having three pitchers at this time of the year, and you only had two at your disposal. Uh, that that had to be disappointing. Yeah, well, you know, Sam Landry came to our program, and that was that's, that's a huge a talent, uh, much like Kegel is to Clemson, Landry is to us, and you know, losing experience of the regional is very disappointing. Um, I don't know if she could have changed the outcome, but we could have got her that experience that she needed in this regional. And I hate we lost that. And then same for, uh, you know, Alexa Langler is our leading home run hitter, uh, an outstanding freshman. And, you know, they're both kids that have played on the national stage all through, the, you know, junior high and high school. They played in the elite travel circuit. So it's not going to be anything that derails their career, but it's just another part of the weekend that somewhat disappointing for me as a coach that I didn't get a, you know, let those kids feel that game day environment, even the disappointment of losing the day. Like there's nothing more motivating for fall practice than a game like today. You know, when I drive home all day, to, my whole drive home is going to be thinking about how we get better next year and the things that we got to fix. And, um, you know, even if they're in the dugout for that, the, it, the mindset's a little different than, you know, when they couldn't be a part of it. Any other questions from Zoom or from anyone here in person? Okay, with that, thank you, Coach, very much. Thank, thank you, Coach. You. Good luck next season. Mm -hmm.